you are awesome, and you're back. I'm Dan. This is Mandy. And you are watching Buzz Chomp. Woo, yeah, you go. Woo, woo, woo. yeah. Enjoy. Must see movies. Lady Bird. I really enjoyed Lady Bird, guys. I really enjoyed Lady Bird. First, the time period. It takes place 2002 to 2003. I like that time period. I was right around the same age as the character Lady Bird in life then. So I like that time period. I can see that. Lady Bird is one of those movies that because I was the exact, pretty much the exact age of the character at the time this movie took place, it's so relatable that I truly enjoyed it. She's just such an interesting, interesting character. I like character movies. I like slice of life movies. And that's what this is. If you're looking for a ton of stuff to go on in a movie, it's not. It's really about this girl and her coming to terms with who she is, her relationship with her parents, wanting to leave her home, to go explore the world, to go to college somewhere else. That's the story. And it was also a very unique time in our history. Right after a terrorist attack of 9-11, right before everyone had a cell phone, right before everyone had their own computers. So it was like a major, major turning point. A story like that though, really is able to develop the characters. We've got Lady Bird. That's what she named herself. She would like to be called Lady Bird. She puts it in quotes when she writes her name down. I love that. Basically it's her senior year of high school that we lived through. And that's kind of awesome. It's a long enough period of time where you get to really see her go through some major life changes and emotional changes and try to deal with things. There's a lot of those like quirky, quirky character details in this movie that I really think kind of just like makes it so much more interesting and kind of shows you what people are like in real life because people do that shit in real life, guys. We don't really know where she's going to go with herself and we only get a little clue of where she came from. I find mother-daughter relationships to be super interesting because I find you have mother and daughters that are super close. You have mother and daughters that are estranged. You have mother and daughters that have this love-hate relationship. You have mother and... You just have all these complicated relationships. This is definitely one of those complicated mother-daughter relationships. But Lady Bird manages to pretty much bring everything she wants into her life. Oh, there's this house I love. It's my favorite house in the neighborhood. She ends up dating the guy whose grandmother owns it. We start out, right? And they had gone to look at colleges and they're listening to the Grapes of Wrath on tape. Random. They're both very affected by the book, right? They're both very affected by the book. That's how the movie starts off. She's in Sacramento and much like all of us growing up, you have a love-hate relationship with where you're from. I love where I grew up, but I needed to leave. Ladybird goes to turn the radio on and her mother stops her and they have like this little argument and then she jumps out of the moving car, breaks her wrist. That's our intro to their relationship. That sums up their relationship so well. I mean, you see... Ladybird ultimately realizes she loves where she grew up. But she needed to leave. She went to New York City. And like a lot of people, the first week in college does not go well for her. But it's the very end of the film. I'm not going to elaborate. I felt like the emotions, the experiences and all that was what could happen to you in high school and especially that time period. It is a slice of life, but there's more to it. It's very meaty. She actually goes through quite a lot in this little slice. She's got multiple boyfriends. She loses her virginity, which I mean, there are a lot of things you would expect from a person at the end of high school into college. She truly does make happen in her life what she wants. And I think that's the theme of this. No matter what your upbringing is, which because you can't control your parents, you can't control where you come from. You're born into a family. That's what you're born into. We must accept that. We must use it to our advantage and we must therefore grow and create in our lives the prosperity and things that we want. She's at a real Catholic high school, oh my gosh. She does things to torment the authority figures but the fact of the matter is she's so smart about how she goes about it that they actually respect her for doing it. it, it it's, it's unique and it's, and it's 
uh, livelihood like that. I don't want to go into too much detail because it's f- part of the fun of the film. Subscribe to Buzz Chomp for more must-see movies. Comment below. Did you see Lady Bird? What you think of it, guys? Yeah, kids. Yeah. Must-see movies. Lady Bird. Tune back in. More from Mandy and Dan on Buzz Chomp. Subscribe. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs>